this video and hundreds more like it available on free Photoshop video tutorials.com. In this video we're going to learn how to create your very own postage stamp. So here with this image what we need to do is uh, first of all is uh, decide what sort of postage stamp you want. Usually most of them are around square uh, or a little bit uh, wider. We're going to go with square right now. So to crop this image, we're going to hold with the rectangular marquee tool. We're going to hold down the shift, click and drag to make that square selection. Now I'm going to position it to where I want the image to be here. Go to image and crop so we have that square selection there. Okay. Now what we want to do is uh, increase the canvas size. We're going to go to image and canvas size. And what we're going to do here is add a little bit more to the edge here so that there can be that little perforated edge on the stamp. So the way that we can do this is with the relative here. It's just increase uh, depending on the size of your image of course. And this one I'm going to add 30 on all sides. So we have that amount of uh, edge there so we can do the perforated edge. Uh, cut out and uh, we want to double click here and press OK so that we transform this image into a regular layer so we have this whole layer with the white built in because that's how I want the actual stamp to be save for the perforated edges right there. Now what I want to do is go ahead and image and canvas size again but now I'm just going to increase it say by a hundred by a hundred just so that I have more space to play with so that you can actually see uh, the stamp what it would look like on something else. Let's select a, a different color here more like a different beige type color here and let's pretend that the stamp is on this card or something that has this color and it's easier to see here the perforated edges that we're going to be creating. Right now for that perforated edge what we need to do is add our layer mask and now we need to go into our brush and uh, actually use some spacing here that we've learned in a previous tutorial to add some spacing to our brush so that we can create those dotted uh, lines here. So the way that we do this is going to Window and Brushes and right in the Brush Tip Shape here, not in Shape Dynamics or anything else, just in Brush Tip Shape, make sure it's highlighted, we can choose the spacing. Now, now there's a few things here that uh, you need to pay attention to. First of all is the diameter, which you can always change a little bit later on, but you want something relative to the size of the stamp. Uh, a good uh, rule of thumb is to make sure that the, um, the diameter fits inside of that space there. So not too big, not too small, so something like that will do. And the hardness, we need to make sure the hardness is at 100%. If it's at 0% or lower, then you start getting very, you know, fady things. And you don't want that. You want the harsh, you know, cut there. So that's what we want. And also we want to adjust the spacing, of course. And the spacing will sort of depend on your image. You're going to have to play around here. Let's add 120 and see what happens. So that's 120 there. We can increase a little bit more. Okay, that's looking a little bit better there. So around 147, 150 would work really well for this image. And now that we're done with that, we've uh, made our selection here. We can close this. So now we have the appropriate brush. So now what we can do is we can, roughly in the center here, we can click. And now, roughly in the center here, we can shift and click. And we make those um, cutouts. Now here at the bottom, we can begin here at the center, click, and then over here, again, shift and click, and on the same here, shift, click, and the same here, click, shift, click. So there we are. So we've created our stamp, and one last bit of this that we can do is actually just add some text to this, right? So in the UK, um, the uh, let's add a white color here. The, the stamp would say first or second class normally if it's uh, internal. So let's just put in a uh, first here. And I'm going to increase the size here of our text. Let's just control and T and uh, place that here. And if you zoom out here, you can see that we have a very nice uh, little stamp here, which you can use if you want to simulate that you've uh, you know created a stamp or sending out an email or something like that uh, to people with your photo. So there you are. If you enjoyed this video, show your support by subscribing, rating, and adding it to favorites. Leave comments on our website and we'll create even more videos that interest you.